defense right on him. And it's off the back rim. No good. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Frank Vogel addressing his team. The strategy included running the offense with the chosen one. Coach wants to get him involved early so he can establish a strong presence at that end of the floor and provide them with a well-balanced offensive attack. Kevin, we'll see how that strategy pans out as this game develops. And thank you, Doris. A shot by Batum, no good. And here's Indiana. They're on a 17-5 run. Shot from the wing. George, that's a two-pointer. And again, it's Indiana converting. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Zeller, a screen on him. Shot's good by Walker. You can't afford to get him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense, Greg, has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Here's Batum following the basket by Freak. Batum attacking. Allen with the rebound. Indiana leading by 13. And George with the stop. And it's taken them no time to build this lead up. Great first quarter offensively. But no time to relax here. They've got to keep the pressure on with the defense, and I think they've got to try to put this one away early. So it's the Hornets now. Paul George making his last shot. Stolen by Wilson. And now here comes Wilson leading the break. Hill, no good. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Platoon passes to Walker. And Lamb kicks to Zeller. Charlotte moving it around. Walker with it. He's picked up by Hill. Just five on the clock. Puts up the baby hook. That's good from Jefferson on the assist by Walker. Jefferson's got his second best. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. Outside, Walker. Here's Batum. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Just not enough bodies on the glass right there, and they paid for it. Well, Greg, I know you're a little guy, but you know what it means to box out, and it's an effort thing and a mindset deal. you got to get your body between right, that so other good. player and the ball. How about a look at a few of the hottest players in the NBA right now, the top scoring shooting guards in the past 10 games. Number one. And it's his explosiveness that jumps right out at you. I mean, he exploits gaps in the defense better than any player in the league. If there's an opening, he'll find it. Yeah, and you need that kind of burst in the off-guard position. And boy, does he ever give it to him. I mean, he's a constant threat and a potent weapon. And, and they keep going down low with the ball and keep getting positive results. Extremely positive. I mean, this is a very nice lead to have early in the ball game. Now, here's Kid Gilchrist. He had 10 points in the win against Orlando. Walker goes in, and it's Walker again missing. Pacers leading by 13. Lynn with it, picked up by Kid Gilchrist. George passes to Wilson. He feeds it to Mahimi. Outside Wilson, here's George. His fires after coming off the pick. Good pick, but he, he just couldn't make it count. Yeah, nice job of setting the screen by his teammate there, and I'm sure he appreciated it. Walker, Walker. Here is Harrison. Outside, Walker, 18 feet out. That one wide left. Well, there was no hand in his face right there. I thought for sure he was going to knock that down. And it looks like they are going to review the play. The question, did he get the basket off in time? And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re, the replay leaving little doubt. But to me, it's worth being certain. And that's why we have replay to get these big calls right. We're in agreement. 
And they've overturned the call. Good. The replay was conclusive, and that one's going to count. And, Kevin, an example of why it's good to have replay. I don't know what kind of impact it'll have on the final 